Thank you, Miss Consultant, for coming here today. My pleasure. Jeeves, please pay attention to what she says. Take good notes. The reason I called was because I need help with a concept called FEMA. You mean FMEA? Failure mode and effects analysis. Some people call it FEMA, but let's just stick with FMEA. Right. So, what exactly is this FMEA? Well, FMEA is a proactive approach to understanding potential failures in either products or processes and taking corrective action before the failure occurs. There are two types of FMEA, Design FMEA or DFMEA and Process FMEA or PFMEA. Design FMEA is used to minimize defects during the introduction of new products. Process FMEA is used for reducing failures during the manufacturing or business process. Ah, that clears some things up. So, how does it work? Well FMEA begins with a review of the process or product. The team will then brainstorm potential failure modes. What might go wrong? Next, we ask, what problems could this failure mode cause? For example, a loose wire in an electronics device could cause a fire. Oh, I see. Then, we write down potential causes of the problem. We could use the cause and effect or fishbone diagram to brainstorm causes. And then? Then, we ask, on a scale of 1 to 10, how severe the problem is. A fire might be a 10, for example. We also rate the likelihood of occurrence. How likely, on a scale of 1 to 10, is this to occur? There are guidelines for this that we use of course. And, that's it? No. Then we rate the likelihood of detection. In other words, how likely are we to catch this problem before it escapes to the customer on a scale of 1 to 10? Finally, we calculate the RPN, the risk priority number, which considers the likelihoods of occurrence, detection, and the severity. What do we do with the RPN? Well, those items with the highest RPN are the highest priority items to address. We then put together an action plan to reduce the RPN for these items. In a Lean Six Sigma project, we would identify solutions that would improve the RPN in the improved phase. Then, we would recalculate the RPN later in the control phase. Wow! That is a lot of good information. Are you getting all of this, Jeeves? In any case, I've got to run, but where did you learn about FMEA? From my friends at EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com They have lots of Lean Six Sigma resources, and they offer training and advisory services. Perfect. I've called them before for some help with value stream mapping. I will be calling them soon, but first I've got to go update my Facebook account. Why? Well, I had my status as FEMA, and I'm afraid people will think that some disaster has occurred and that I am calling for government help.